Hey guys, Peter Harper, Managing Director and CEO of Senior Advisors. Just got off the phone with one of, uh, one of my clients who said to me, Peter, why have you not been more active or, or communicated better with respect to the stimulus package? And I said, because there is a huge amount of disinformation or what I like to call rubbish information, stuff that you would just put straight in your trash can uh, to deal with the package. Right, uh, the, the legal measures have been passed, but the execution by the SBA and by the government has been um, atrocious. Right, so to, to recap, what exists out there at the moment is there is a, the um, payroll protection program, which is the, the program where folks are going to get access to two and a half times their you know, payroll, utilities, uh, rents, and um, and debt service. There is the uh, economic disaster loan, which is going to allow folks to get access uh, to up up to two million dollars um, uh, of loans of up to two million dollars, where payments and uh, repayments and and debt associated with with that loan will not have to be uh, repaid or will be deferred for the first 12 months and then there is this you know this one time evaporating payment of ten thousand dollars yeah for those other advisors out there that are creating pandemonium or that people are going to somehow miss out on the entire stimulus package um, take a bex have a lie down uh, think about putting your head in a toilet and pressing the flush button folks um, for those of you that are anxious about getting access to the stimulus, you need to understand two things. One, the payroll protection program, there is not even a, an application that exists right now uh, where you can make a submission. We expect that that's going to be available in the next couple of weeks. Um, and that this application will happen via the commercial banking system. So if you have a strong relationship with a, uh, a commercial bank, reach out to them and make sure that they have a framework whereby you can access uh, this program. Um, uh, if you want to find out and, and, and get in with this, this you know, this $10,000 um, first come first serve payment, get on the SBA uh, website if you haven't done this already, submit your application to deal, to deal with that, that loan. There is conjecture as of this very moment as to whether when you're making that application for the $10,000, whether you're actually starting uh, starting the full application for the economic um, disaster relief program, or whether you have to still complete the very long and onerous um, you know, multi-page application um, that previously had to be submitted you know, prior to the recent change of the website, right? So if you've completed that application, whether it's online or, or in paper, because the website was crashing, so the SBA was telling everyone to complete that application in uh, uh, by paper, there's no harm in getting that done uh, and submitting that uh, via email to the SBA um, if, you've, if you've already completed the application. So just to recap, the entire stimulus package is not first come, first serve. It's only the $10,000. So relax. Uh, the, there are two other programs um, that are available for qualifying small businesses, being the payroll protection program and the Economic Disaster Relief Program. The Payroll Protection Program does not have an application form that's available yet. We'll have that soon. Uh, when you get that, you can make a submission through your commercial banker. Again, make sure you've got a tight relationship with the commercial banker. With the Economic Disaster Relief Program, that application is being underwritten by the SBA uh, program itself. If anyone's ever been through an SBA, pro, um, SBA loan application process, you'll know that the SBA 
is like any other commercial lender, they are going to underwrite the shit out of that application, right? So uh, that is going to take time for that application to be submitted and for you to get funding with respect to that. It's probably going to take, you know, uh, you're going to take 45 to 60 days, all right? Um, the reality is everyone still needs to probably have liquidity op options for the next 60 to 90 days because it is going to take some time under all these programs for the money to flush into the system. If you want any assistance with any of this stuff, uh, please reach out.